Hello guys and welcome to my showcase of two design of seven segment displays. So a uh, seven segment display is a display like this that displays uh, numbers, right? And it's called a seven segment display because usually you power uh, seven parts of the segment. So the top part here, the top right part, the top left, the middle, the uh, left bottom, the uh, bottom right, and the bottom part. And I was inspired by a video uh, by Maizuma Games uh, because he did some seven segment displays, but his design uh, uses power level signals. And mine, uh, as I will show you, are from uh, Easton feed tapes. So it's a little bit different, but one thing that uh, I really like about his designs is that the uh, lamps here are kind of one block in front of the wall here. Because most of the designs, if you look on YouTube, are like this, right? They are flat. So yeah, that's what I... I really got inspired by his design. And here you can see some rows of blocks and uh, the headstone block uh, signifies that uh, this segment here is powered and the uh, glass block signifies that the segment is unpowered. And here it starts from 0, 1, 2, 3, to 9. And, uh, Another thing about Maizuma design is that uh, his designs have a bunch of uh, features like uh, one of his designs counts from 0 to F or hexadecimal numbers, right? And he has like reset buttons and you can customize to count, uh, for example, from let's say 0 to 6 so you can make a clock or something. Yeah, my designs don't have any of that. They they only have uh, they only count from zero to nine, and uh, they are tieable. So when one display gets to nine and then to zero, the display on the left gets incremented one. So yeah, here are those same lines there, but uh, side by side. And one thing that I notice is that you don't really need to have uh, one line for each of these segments because uh, if you look for example A and E or A and D every time uh, you have a glass block in A you also have a glass block in D right? Because there are exactly only two glass blocks and the same thing about A and E and also the same thing about C and F if you notice know, because C has only one glass here and why this is uh, something useful is because instead of having a line powering C and a line powering F you can have one line powering both and when you need to power both C and F, for example here when you are displaying 0 you need to power both you send a signal in strength of 2 and you power both and when you need to power only C, for example here on 1 you send a signal strength of 1 ok, so what you do is you divide in the same line you vary the signal strength, right? So when you send 2, it will power both. When you send 1, it will power only the first one, the C. And that's why you need to have glass and glass on both, because then it's when you send power 0, it won't power any of those. But there is a problem, because if you try to do A and E, or A and D, they are kind of uh, too far away and the same thing with C and F right? but uh, 
I found out something about B, F and C, E. So if you get B and invert the signal on F, you will have that. So here I have copied B and I have inverted F. So where we have a headstone block, I put a glass block. And where we have glass blocks, I use headstone blocks. And now you can see that every time we have glass blocks on B, we have the glass blocks on F inverted. And the same thing is true uh, with C and E. So that's convenient because B and F, C and E are right side by side, so that's easier to wire. And that's what I did in my first design here. Uh, you can see that uh, this uh, comparator, when it sends a power of 1, will power this side here. And when it sends a power of 2, it will invertly power here. Yeah, and then same thing for uh, this uh, comparator here. When it has power of 1, it powers uh, this segment here. And when it has power of 2 and gets inverted here, it power uh, this lamp here on. And yeah, so uh, this uh, design here is uh, 4 wide and 6 tall and 13 long. But 13 is some kind of a standard distance for this kind of displays, right? It's not that huge, right? And yeah, and also it is uh, completely uh, and also the display pops out, like you can see uh, you don't need to make it flat if you don't want, if you want you can obviously make just need to change a little bit of the button here, right? And yeah, as you can see, it works, right? It's a little bit slow, and uh, the lights uh, uh, and the lights blink in a strange way, I guess, because yeah, we have some timings here different. Uh, that's why. And yeah, you can see here. And that we can stack them both horizontally and vertically with only one space between them. And when this gets to zero, it increments this one and so on. Right? And yeah, so the uh, big advantage I think of this design is that you can stack them uh, vertically and horizontally with only one block apart from each. And I did some research on YouTube and I didn't find any design that is uh, tieable vertically with only one block space. So, yeah, because like I said, this is actually uh, 4 wide by 6 high. And yeah, so this design, the uh, Great thing about it is the fact that it's tieable both horizontally and vertically. If it, uh, for some reason you need it to be like this, this is the design to go. Yeah, but after I finished the, that design, I went on YouTube and looked up uh, for uh, some other designs to see if mine was uh, the smallest one. And like I said, I didn't find any one that's smallest uh, at least height and wide right uh, there is a bunch of designs that are far wide but none of them are uh, only seven only six high right yeah and when i was doing that research i found a design by peter jang tw that was four by eight by eight but this is a six years old design so we didn't have observers and all that stuff, and it's actually pretty impressive uh, uh, for design to be that compact six years ago, right? 
but uh, now with the observers and everything else we have in Redstone, I managed to uh, compact the design a little bit more, so it's now 4 by 7 high by 8 long. So you can see here it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 high, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 long, and it's 4 wide. As you can see, this is a little bit better uh, with the blinking of the lights, right? It's not so cranky like the other one. And yeah, by the way, uh, this piston fit tape design and everything here, uh, it's pretty much everything copied from this design. Just the wiring, right? Because now I'm using observers to power the pistons here. So that's the new stuff let's say right and also as you can see here it is also uh, tieable both um, vertically and uh, horizontally yeah but uh, but yeah like i said it's seven high so you will have two blocks of space vertically between them and as you can see it also increments automatically here and yeah, there is just one uh, thing that you see, if I power this display up here, you will see that these pistons actually fire. That doesn't change the display below because there is air blocks here, right? You see, it uh, didn't change here. Let's see again, we are in 1 and 0. If we press this button, you see the piston actually fire. But we stream zero here and we got to two there. Yeah, so the only thing that means is that you can't power both this one and the one below right at the same time. So if that's something you might want, this design won't work for you. But yeah, so as far as I can tell, this is the smallest design uh, on YouTube and I will make both tutorials for this design and the other one so uh, if you wanna see that you should subscribe to my channel because I'm bringing those videos very soon so see you in the next video bye